And good day, everybody. This is Jameer's here with a little bit of midweek early access madness. Who knows, maybe that'll start being a reoccurring thing. And the game I have today is, this is a bit of a weird one here. Um, I'm going to go with that first character is pronounced as a GOG. I'm going to go with that. It's GOG. WHC colon the game about witch hunters moving castle you've been so long waiting for. That is the official title of the game. Seems very long-winded to me, but okay. As I said, it's early access. It's about going around and killing demons, as far as I can tell. And that's, uh, that's the character model they have for us, so let's just go ahead and do that. New game. Alright, I've seen that star compass before. What was going through her arms there? Search the house, collect remaining weapons and health points, and examine the rock to see what's left of the castle. A rough blow has damaged your memory a little. You need to refresh it. Are they talking about the uh, undulating mass that's over there? Is that the rock that they're referring to? That just... That looks all sorts of wrong. You, got, you have a gun! That's the, the gun we saw in the front. What? the hell is going on with her hands? What? God, that looks painful! Well, that needs some work right off the bat. Let's pick that up. Oh, I just noticed down there uh, the ammo counter. Which has given us a gun that doesn't look anything like we got there. And uh, we have negative eight of eight rounds. Well, that's fun. Now we can have ourselves a sword. Let's have a feeling with negative eight rounds and these janky, broken hands, we're probably going to end up needing a sword. Okay. What's this here? Ah, oh, that's ammo. R does reload. We are now up to 8 of 0 because we had to reload our negative 8 and then ro reload our actual 8. And there's all the there's all the controls there. Uh, scope view so we can see the thumb hovering down there in the corner. This, this scope view doesn't seem like it's going to be too useful for us there if I I'm gonna be completely honest here. So is this the arrow keys change the weapon? Um. Okay, the arrow keys. Yeah, they they do a thing. That that much is for sure. They do a thing. O for options. Oh, that all just looks fine where it's at. C for crouch. Uh, I thought the legs did something funny there, because I, I saw more flesh show up than was originally there. And then we sprint. Oh, I see the stamina meter! That thing bleeded kind of quickly. And we have a roll. Oh! -ho! Yo hoy! Okay. And switch side with tab. Okay, it's a control scene that makes some sense to me. Now, how do I investigate this undulating mass? Do I need to go out this way? So, it, it's a bit small, but the strides do not actually line up with the distance we're moving. The steering wheel and pedals control the castle. If you can move the castle along the map with their help, the castle needs to be able to move, go downstairs to get some. That steering wheel doesn't look like it attaches to anything. I mean, 
what is this actually pumping? Yeah, they're, that steering wheel doesn't connect to anything. I don't know. I don't think that actually steers it. It just lets us sit there and think it's happening. So we've got ourselves a go-kart. That's fun. What is this? Traveling to find the missing parts of the car, then you'll be able not only to walk on foot, but drive the car on the ground. Ooh. This is some boots. And you can go from the castle to the ground, climb back using the stairs. When the castle moves, the stairs are folded to move up or down the stairs quickly. Enter the red icon boots on the right. That was... That was jarring. Why would you have a moving castle made of wood scaffolding? Okay, so we get ourselves so some combat here. So we have two of the exact same person going fist cuffs with this. What is this? A rabbit man? What? what? Where are you going, rabbit man? What? What are you doing? Why is it moving? I need stone. Sorry if you hear me sniffling. I. And I'm pretty sure I have some form of cold. Uh, it doesn't seem to be collecting any stone for us. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, we now have a paragraph. I'm just gonna try and skim this, so we need to move the castle. We'll fight some monsters. The castle... The monsters gonna destroy it, but they destroy it, we lose. Let's check the inventory. Uh, equipments or items? I'm gonna check items. Which looks like equipments. Okay, so click on equipments. Same thing. Right, uh, we don't seem to be picking anything up. So. There's that. Oh, they're not exactly the same person. One is a bit fatter than the other one. I guess they're doing a thing. I suppose. Alrighty then. Oh, it's supposed to be on gigantic metal wheels. Poorly rendered wheels, but wheels, I suppose. Now that ride would be terrible. Alright, so allegedly those were miners, and because I killed the rabid bunny man, they will collect resources for us. Well, I lagged out when I tried to interact with the tree. Perhaps something happened? Let's check. Items. Let's see more. It's a bunny man! You are dead! Which put us to the... Well, this needs to go away. Which then put us to the options menu. Okay, so we got killed by the bunny man. I mean, he just came over and just goddamn one-shot us there. Oh, if we go to what appears to be a build menu and come back, then we die again. That's fun. That's fun. We need 500 saws and 400 pickaxes. I don't have enough for that. That's for a house. That is very small font. House and a house and a house and a house. And just for good measure, that, that was a house. So this is all we can build our houses atop our rolling rock. Alright. Uh, get out of the build mini. So, what do now? Now that we're dead. Uh, I 
guess I have to go to menu. I'm continue. Let's back up there. Okay. Let's get our items. We have less ammo now. We have negative eight of fourteen this time. That's upsetting. Okay. Alrighty then. Now there's green stuff here. Maybe I can do things with the green stuff. Not sure how to do things with that green stuff there, but... Well, I'm sure the time will come when I can do things with the green stuff. All the tutorials are gone. That's a thing. Well, I need to have them come get this because I need more pickaxes. And take that, bunny man. Yeah, that's that's how you mine. Good job, guys. That's how you do it. Is that thing dead? Cannot tell if that's actually dead. God, I hope so. Okay, so we need fuel. Where to find a fuel reserve? I don't know, but I see a thing over here and I'm gonna go check it out. Actually, if I remember right, there was an option for music. Do we have any music going? Okay, uh, so, ah, damn it. That was the wrong button. But no, the, uh, the mechanical clicking clacking is our music. It's a very ambient soundtrack, if I do say so myself. Build a house. I did a thing. All right. So far, with the game, I guess it sort of works, except for that uh, dysfunctional hand situation we got going on there. And can I drive the castle? I'm going to go with I can't. Space to X, okay. Space X's, I don't know what that means. Oh, we got some pieces of furniture just flying in the air. That's fun. That's fun. That's how you do it. Okay, so that looks like it's stone stuff. Summon the miners and create lag so they can come over and dig at it. I just realized there's a pistol in that holster there. Oh god! Bunny man! Take that bunny man. Now you can slide around the floor. Oh my god, there's two! Why can't I use these? I don't know, they look really blocky. That would suggest glocks to me. Why can't I use the two glocks? That would probably help me. Well, we better pull out our sword since we're running low on ammunitions. Our sword, which isn't really technically being held. It's just kind of hovering by the hand. Uh, I have no idea what's going on with the lighting here. It's just trying to do god rays everywhere. So use item. How do I use item? Uh, options HUD that will not go away. You. I hit you. Alright, so it appears we have health potions that don't heal. I'm glad I got those out of our inventory. I don't need that weighing me down. I'm pretty sure weight doesn't mean anything. With how fast that stamina bar regenerates, I have to stop and wonder 
does the stamina bar really need to be here? As far as I can tell, needing to navigate the vast emptiness that is the game world, it's very annoying more than it is challenging. And I'm curious about testing something. If I go down to no stamina and swing my sword... Okay, we can't do our combo unless we have enough stamina for a chip away. Alright, which doesn't slow down our attack speed that much. I'm gonna guess that's a block. Yeah, that, that looks approximately what a block looks like. Well, I'm not seeing anything of a fuel-type resource. Unless this is it. Let's summon our lag miners. There's our bunny man. I blocked and I died. So blocking appears to be pointless. There's that. There's that for you. Blocking would seem to be pointless. Have to re reload our negative ammunition. And let's try and melee the bunny man now. We haven't meleeed the bunny man yet. Alright. There's a stone. It's a red herring. I don't need the stone. I'm sure I do to upgrade the house, but I see no reason to actually do that currently. Well, where is our fuel resource? I see something off in the distance of the fog, so I guess I'll just run towards that. Let's see what I find. Hey, look at that, we actually found something at the end of this. Found ourselves a nice old manor. Well, let's go exploring. Perhaps they have fuel that I can trudge all the way back to my drivable rock, which claims to be a castle. Just a rock on some giant metal wheels. We call that a castle. God, that base is indestructible! A Zelda game, this is not. Alright. Anything upstairs? I mean, I'll take anything at this point. Anything, I don't mean empty rooms with some furniture in it. I mean, anything that would constitute as content. That would be... Much appreciated right about now. Here, a nice round table. And we had some knights to go with it. That would really help liven up the scene. Door to nowhere. That we uh, stick through the wood. That's fun. That's fun. Alright. So... What exactly is the overall objective of this game? Like, I know it's an early access, but so far the only objective I've been given is... Drive your castle somewhere. Like, when I'm able to move my castle... Where do I drive it to? Oh, we found some health containers, that's what this was for. That metal cog whirring is getting really annoying. And don't get me wrong, I know there is a subset of music called uh, Industrial Ambient, which if I remember correctly is a subgenre of Dark Ambient, but just these cogs whirring on loop as a four second loop that's not what industrial ambient is industrial ambient is actually kind of creepy and pretty unsettling 
At least the ones I found was. Health potions. I don't know why I'm bothering to pick up the health potions, because they don't work. What is with the fog? What is that supposed to signify? Is it just supposed to try and hide how barren this world is? Because it doesn't do a good job at that. Well, well we found stuff! Come, my lag miners! Harvest this! I think this is what I need to progress! Bunny man! He killed us. At least the autosaves are very generous with returning our items to us. There's these rocks. Let's just go ahead and get the rocks anyway. Bunny man! Bunny man! Oh my god, the zoom is useful! It takes the, the annoying fog away! Holy shit, I have to kill... Bunny man, you have to die right now. Because I need to look at this! This fantastic specimen of a human being. Don't you turn away from me! I am ogling at this magnificence. Look at that! What even was that? What kind of creature was that? What the shit? I... I guess I can poke with my gun. Oh no, we can do a punch-punch kick! We can do a punch-punch kick with a rifle in our arms. Actually, I think it's more of a shotgun. It's a handgun that somebody glued a rusted rod to. If it's even that. I don't actually know how that firearm would possibly operate. It does not make any kind of logical sense. And now... I guess we wander off into the fog again. So I have to be honest with you. Partly the reason why I got... Because I had two games I was debating over doing today. It was this, and there was a $15 paintball game that I guess was originally a Call of Duty 4 mod. So, if it's a straight rip of a mod from Call of Duty 4, I don't understand how that could possibly be $15. I'm not saying a mod can't become a game and be worth money. I mean, Counter-Strike. That's exactly what that is. But... That at least didn't come out at an unreal expectation of money. This one, however, I mean, I was instantly intrigued by the name. The name alone was highly intriguing. The other thing that was intriguing is it had some screenshots that seemed a bit interesting. A bit interesting. And it had about a 12 second trailer where all it was was the female character here standing in the menu. Didn't have any text pop up, it didn't say anything about the game, it was literally just look at the menu for 12 seconds. So with that, I had absolutely no information about this game other than its outrageously long title. So I'm like, okay, it's an early access. Sure, let, let's look at it. Nobody's given it a user review yet. Let's see what this game wants to be about. So far, it appears that this game, which at full retail is $10, by the way. So, if this, you see this, and like, oh shit, man. Oh shit, I gotta get in on this. I gotta get on this sweet, sweet early action ass. It's 10 bucks. It'll run you 10 bucks. US dollars. I don't know the currency conversions off the top of my head because it's volatile, but not strangely. I, I ordered things from Forge World. I know going from USD to GBP doesn't make any sense. It makes more sense than Bitcoin, though. But it's $10, and as far as I can tell, it's run around a flat, empty, barren world space filled with fog 
And when you find something interact with it, a rabid bunny man shows up. You fight him for a bit. And then either you kill him or he kills you. Rinse, repeat. Oh, and cogs go off in the background. I wouldn't have known that unless I would have uh, taken the plunge on this. You know what? I found out I can make the fog go away. Let's make the fog go away. Alright, so with the fog gone, we can observe a seam in the sky. Interesting. Go back to the scope. Go, go back to the scope! I was trying to say something. There's trees that will only show up if I look at them out the corner of my eye. I can no longer see our driving rock. I just do not know what's going on with this character model. It's... It is a catastrophe. Alright, we can now actually look at the trees, so let's go investigate the trees. See what they're all about. Get your sword ready. It's the only thing we have to defend ourselves with against the bunny man. Well, that and our fist! Oh, but when we have the sword, it just does sword. Okay. So you only get to go fist cuffs if you have your gun. In a fashion that wouldn't make any sense to go fist cuffs with, with your gun. Of course, it really just doesn't make any sense to go fist cuffs at all if you have a gun. I really hope these trees do something interesting. Though I'm betting not. Oh wow, those were a lot farther away than I thought they were. Okay. I've done it. I found the trees. I can't interact with them. The trees are made out of metal. What is this demon nonsense? All right. All right. We're gonna fight a bunny man. Y'all ready for this? You all ready for this? Bring it, you bunny asshole! Right, blocking is uh, is pointless. Roll! Can't deal with these sick moves! I stabbed ya! Nope, there we go! I got him! Now he slides away in defeat. So I have bested the bunny man. I, I, I really don't get what's going on with the dead body sliding. Alright, can I recover health now? Drank all six potions, no health. Cool. Cool. This, uh... This character, uh... Had some modifying, didn't she? I mean, the whole reason I suggest that is the fact that... She has a belt strap here. Cuts right through her what is that like a bandage wrap bra you, you guys just kind of took this character model and just put bigger breasts on her didn't you or she owe this this way I don't know do you not know Okay, as I put my brush back to soak a little bit, I've been sitting here for what feels like half yeah, an hour waiting for these miners to come over here and get this fuel so I can maybe do some progress. I'm just done waiting. I'm not going to keep restarting to try and trek out and maybe get lucky and find something and then sit there for another half hour for nothing to happen. I mean... <sighs> I don't understand where this mentality came from. If you're putting the game out in early access, can you at least have some game? I mean, good god. This is like an alpha release. Early access should be a late beta stage. That's that's my thought on the matter. It shouldn't be, well, I've come up with the concept of the game. Give me money for it now, and then maybe I'll develop it. It should be, hey, I've actually got a game that's kind of far along. I need polish and finishing touches. Here's on early access, see if people like it. I 
can't help but feel like he'll be more successful that way. At least that's that's my two thoughts on early access. I realize they're probably not very popular opinions about early access, but it's my opinion nonetheless. So yeah, this was WBC moving no flying cat moving castle something like that it's mo some witch hunter moving castle always been waiting for you like wanted always those words are in there somehow i'd probably say not to touch this one honestly